So welcome to Backyard Woodworking. Today, I'm going to take this and turn it into this, a bandsaw box. Now this is just a simple design. From here, you can use your imagination. Made the pull out of the piece of wood that was left over from the inside of the drawer here. Get going and make a band saw box. All right, first I want to check the log here. You can see on the camera here, right about here and here, and a little tiny one there. There's some checks in this log as it dried. And uh, I said this sat along the side of the road, so I don't know how long it sat there, but it, it seems fairly dry to me. Uh, I've had it for quite a while too. It's been on uh, about, oh, I guess a good year since I've had it. So it's probably fairly dry. Now what I'm going to do is, let's see, cut a little of this off and see how far them check marks go down. Cause up a little bit and see what it looks like. And this I'm using uh, the blade that came with it. I have other blades, but I'm, I'm just going to use this blade for rough cut, it's a 3 8 blade. I believe it's got about uh, 12, 14 inch uh, teeth on it. I'm not quite sure, I forget now, but let's use this one anyway. Pretty natural right there. Got a natural flat spot. The front from the back. I think this has a nice space for a front. So it's going to be back. So you got to cut your back off. <coughs> Excuse me. We got a nice, pretty nice space there. Now, much square, I'm going to cut, oh, somewhere around a half inch off the back. You have to cut the back off so we can cut the inside out. I'm already looking here, I see where the grain's going, where I can cut around. Cut the back off. I like to do. Here's a piece I cut off. You can see this will you turn it around the grain will match. I like the right one here, a B, and a B. And I write it on the outside facing piece, 
and that's my back. Mark them. That way you can't get confused when you go to glue this back together. That wood does smell nice. Now that I have the back here, I'm going to cut from the front. Now, you move the fence out of the way. Now I'm going to figure out how wide, how thick I want the box. Take a pencil. Or you can use a, a caliper or, or a compass or something like that. Anything to mark in. I use a finger. That works pretty good usually. And just take a look and see what you like for a thickness. Here's almost a natural line running around here. So I'm going to just take my pencil very carefully just try to keep the same distance all the way around. Whether this shows up too well on the camera, around here is that's going to be the inside of my box. That's going to be the front. So I'm going to put an F for that. That way I won't get this confused. <coughs> All right. Next, we're going to figure out how we're going to enter. You can enter from different places. I like to try to get in on a side something like this. We're going to cut this and we will cut the inside out. shell and this will be the drawer and you can see that this will fit really nice in there once it's glued we get this glued together like so now this can very brittle here it's going to probably break in a couple of spots so I just it's just a matter of gluing it up this wood's uh, pretty old next thing you got to cut this is the front I'm gonna, the back's on here we got to cut this is going to be the front back here uh, I'm going to make sure I mark this so I can see this in F and B on that because when we cut these the front and the back off you want to be able to show you now which way is which and I, even an arrow in there it'll sand off but this is very delicate here this this is old wood here this it's got a little crack you see that already but there I'll just put some glue in there when I glue this up it'll hold it now we got to cut the front and the back off
we have our drawer. Now you can sand this out inside if you want to. I like it to pretty much leave it the way it, the way it is. I marked the front here. So I have my front piece. So you glue these up. I got my back piece. And you can see. Next step, glue it up. Everything here is pretty much done. I got this and some clamps. A little bit of clamping here. You don't need much on this. But uh, this wood, pretty bad here. Is it really uh, dried and checked? I think you're better off. I would have been better off if I cut in a little further on that log. But you know, live and learn when you're doing these. Uh, everyone's different because you're working with natural material. Uh, it's been a little while for the glue here. Let's see what we got. Slipped a little. This thing was really badly broken. Ain't nothing you couldn't fix with a sander, but I'm leaving mine. I might even shave a little off the bottom of this, or use. I might run this on a belt sander and flatten this bottom out, and that'll give me a much better. All right, let's take out the the drawer. We're going to see what the drawer comes out to be. It's a little tight. I think that has something to do with the glue job. Yep, the glue slipped here. The joint slipped a little bit here on the bottom. That's a that little stinker. I think we can run this on the... It's not that bad. Just a little bit on the on the back side here because of the difference in the log. But there you go. All you want to do is just take a little glue here, position the drawer pull, and glue that on. I think I might sand the front of this to make it look a little better. Just take a drawer pull here and glue that on the front. I'm going to sand this up a little bit, I think. Just make it a little smoother looking on the front side and the front side of this. I could run this on a belt sander. But this video was intended to show you basically how to make one, not finish one. I mean, there's a million ways you can finish them. You can coat these with oil. Now, I like leaving the outside like a piece of log and just I'm just going to spray paint some lacquer on it. This one I cleaned up a little bit. It came out all right. And uh, works pretty nice. Backyard woodworking. If you like what you see, leave a comment. Leave, hit the share button. Subscribe. Every little bit helps with the woodwork.